OK, so Anupur, alors, uh, where are you now, Anupur? Tell me. Uh, so I'm in the Soji campus of Essex okay. Business School, currently in the hostel. OK, uh, so they, there's a specific hostel for students, or how does it work? Uh, so there's a specific hostel for students, but uh, by the time I um, applied for it, it was booked out. So uh, currently I'm living in a private residence, which has been uh, booked by ESSEC. Okay, so it looks yeah. very nice. So you have a you have a kitchen, you have a you have a room. Huh? So yes. maybe you have to get used to to student life in France, and of course you won't be like at home. So that's the way students live in France. They they live in a small thing called a studio flat. Yes. Uh, so how, how big is it? Tell me how big is it? Uh, so it's eighteen square meter, just enough for okay. a single person. Okay. And how much time do you spend in your studio? You you spend a lot of time, or most of the time you you studying? What what do you do? Tell me. So most of the time goes in uh, classes or other mm -hmm. co-curricular or chairs or tracks that I'm taking. So mostly in college and I just come here to eat and sleep. So not much. Okay, so that's uh, just eat and sleep. Now, uh, when did you arrive at ESSEC? You arrived what, like uh, five weeks ago, roughly? When did you arrive at Nupur? Uh, a month ago. I arrived in eight, on uh, 18, 18th August. August, okay. And what have you done in these last uh, five weeks, tell me? So in the past one month, I would say, um, I've finished my French training. Uh, that, yeah. that was for the A1 level. Uh, I got my grades also day before yesterday, the pretty good. Uh, and I applied uh, for my specialization chairs and tracks, which is like very particular to the SF curriculum. And okay. uh, I've been interacting with my cohort, alumni, and like learning about different apprenticeship and uh, internship options that they are doing, and just exploring uh, what I could like my like further trimesters, planning it out, the subjects that I'm going to take, and um, yeah, some fun um, um, associations as well. Going to a number of association parties and interacting there. Okay, very good. And uh, so, uh, how different is the the teaching style from uh, from uh, that you find in France from the one that you had in uh, in India? So tell me, well, how different is it? Uh, I would say it's very different. Not, I mean, uh, not in the terms of like exams and stuff. But uh, the first thing that I noticed was. Um, there's a lot of internal assessment going on, like continuous practical uh, internal assessment. So in India, I think we had this uh, mentality of rote learning. So learning mm -hmm. for the entire trimester or semester and then giving a written exam. Here, because there's like quizzes, uh, group discussions, then uh, off field visits. So there's every day there's some of the other tests, like small tests, which which is not very heavy or won't pressurize you. But because there's like continuous assessment, you will go back to your room and learn right after the class. So this way, I think there's not much load. And uh, I feel we learn more every day uh, instead of like giving a final exam. So that is one of the biggest difference I noticed here uh, compared to the studies that I had in India. Okay. And in terms of teaching style, not in terms of course structure, but in terms of teaching style, uh, is it more uh, is it more practical, uh, probably less theoretical than in India? What, what do you think? Uh, I think I the know. onus of studying here uh, falls on the student rather than on the teacher. So teacher is there just to guide mm -hmm. you, provide the resources, the books to refer, how, how to like uh, further study. But most of the study you have to do yourself. So um, yeah. she, the classes, obviously our professors are very learned and they like teach us everything. But um, you can't study well or score well unless you like try to explore um, more by yourself. So I think um, the responsibility is on the student rather than on the teacher here. OK. Uh, and basically, uh, I asked you about this because I wanted to know your personal situation. So can, can you introduce yourself, maybe Nubo, so that people know more about you, Amy? Sure. Uh, so I'm from Betul MP, India. 
And for my undergraduate studies, I did a BALLB honors from National Law Institute University Bhopal, which is like a integrated BA and NLB course. Uh, it was for five years, and after graduation, I worked in a litigation office in the district court of Betul, uh, where I studied for one and a half years. And um, even while I was studying, uh, I, I was working, um, I, I wasn't very happy or satisfied with the kind of work that I was doing, and I couldn't see myself doing that for the rest of my life. And I, as I was looking for other avenues to expand my career too, uh, I got in contact with uh, uh, Arun, and that mm -hmm. is how I like contact, like got to know about MBA Center, and then we had like very elaborate discussion about how, what I could pursue uh, according to my background, and then we finalized that it would be best to pursue an MIM uh, at that stage, and that is where like this journey started. Okay, so of course uh, that's the thing. Alors, uh, so, so tell me, uh, uh, so, so what did your parents say? What did your family say about you You going to France? Did they were happy? They found it was, it was a risk? What, what, did they, what did they tell you? So when I was applying for my uh, colleges, uh, my parents already had this idea that I would be leaving India. So uh, I think it didn't matter which country I go to. But yes, uh, it was far so uh, they were a little sentimental but they were also very very proud and uh, supportive of me going coming here so so they, so, uh, they, yeah. so they found it's a good idea now yeah? so they found it's yeah. a good idea for you to 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 go there yes um, yes definitely. so they, they definitely it's a good idea and um, and so 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 to which school have you finally applied uh, all the, all uh, the colleges that I applied to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To which school have you finally applied? So you have been accepted to a sec, but uh, which which colleges have you, which uh, masters have you selected, and why? Uh, so the masters that I selected were firstly uh, in USA, Duke and Georgetown. Uh, yeah. Here in France, ESSEC, EDHEC, um, also INSEAD, then mm -hmm. London Business School, uh, IESC. Uh, yes. That, and um, ESCP as well. ESCP. And yeah. and what has been what has been the what has been the, the outcome finally? So I got admitted into ESSEC and EDHEC. In EDHEC, I also got a um, academic excellence scholarship. Um, in Georgetown, I, I was waitlisted uh, and I was about to appear for the second interview, but then I got into ESSEC, so I never appeared for that interview. Uh, and uh, Yes, uh, there were like interviews for other colleges, uh, for example, IESE, but um, I think there was an issue with the age barrier there, so I couldn't further like go through to the next round. Hello, basically, so so can you tell us, so how, how much work experience uh, do you have? Because you mentioned age barrier. Yes. Uh, so, so how much work experience have you got, uh, Nupur? I got, uh, I have a one and a half year of professional work experience. Okay, and so they thought that uh, it would be it would be too much uh, to apply for this masters, yeah. Uh, yes, they were very particular about their age limit, so they only wanted students from twenty one to twenty four uh, for their program, and they were like very pretty strict with it. So I think that was one of the factors that didn't work out for me. It worked out for you. Anyway, ESEC yeah. is a very good choice. Huh? ESEC is a yes. very good choice. Um, uh, and I'm sure that you you'll be happy with it. We'll, we'll come back to that. Uh, by the way, why when I say ESSEC is a good choice, according to you, uh, why is it a good choice? So um, I chose ESSEC primarily because of uh, the goal that I had for my career. So all the reasons mm -hmm. stem from that career choice. So uh, since I want to work in luxury retail in the future, uh, first reason was uh, I'll be studying in Sergi Paris, and there will be umpteen opportunities for me to interact with people in the same industry and like get more uh, work experience here. Uh, second reason was the curriculum in uh, ESSEC is extremely flexible. Uh, we have about 200 plus electives that I can take any time, any uh, trimester. Apart from like seven to eight core courses, I have 
the flexibility to choose anything. So the entire curriculum is will be framed by me. All the students pick their own uh, a curriculum. They, they make their own curriculum. So no two students will study the same subject or will have the same courses in any trimester. So it's very flexible and you have the option to pick the subjects that are actually going to uh, help you in your uh, jobs. So that was a big reason. Uh, third reason, I would say there are other um, factors in ESSEC, like there are chairs and tracks, which are specialization uh, uh, courses. For example, in marketing as well, there are there is a LVMH chair, which is a Louis Vuitton White Hennessy chair, as well as a, a beauty chair, which is run by Estee Lauder. So because these companies actually come to ESSEC to teach us and like take us on field trips and we are going to directly work with the managers there, uh, this is a big opportunity. And I, I don't think many schools provide this, that the teacher would be actually managers from the company that you want to work in. So this was a very uh, lucrative option for me. So that was one of the deciding factors. And um, that is why I chose ESSEC. I think the, the culmination of all these um, choices okay so uh, of course it's uh, it's very good now uh, uh, what is it what is it to apply to to a sec and to be accepted so what 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 are the, the different uh, uh, what are the different uh, steps I mean so what are the steps you know test taking application interview okay tell me so uh, for the for applying to ESSEC, firstly, you need to fill a form, uh, which is mm -hmm. in the form of a questionnaire where there are several questions and you have to answer it according to your experience and background. Uh, they are not very technical questions. They are very uh, personal and like basic questions. But uh, the way you answer it like will break or make your mm -hmm. deal. So apart from that first questionnaire, um, if you like get selected, uh, there will be a second interview with the panel panelists, and there will be um, alumni, uh, people from the academic team, uh, and second year students. And sometimes I've heard behavioralists as well in the panel. And uh, after you get through the interview, uh, it, your decision comes in about like a week or ten days. Okay, so that's the thing. And, and what was the interview like? So can you please detail a bit for us? Yes, uh, my interview was very fun and long. I think it went for about 45 to one hour. Um, so the so the academic team were asking me like very basic uh, interview questions. So why ESSEC, uh, why MIM? But there were other fun questions that were asked by the alumni who was actually working as a business development and research associate herself. Uh, so that because they assign uh, people according to your career goals. So because I, I chose this, I wrote this in my questionnaire. That is why they assigned me alumni working in the same industry. So she asked me my reasons of pursuing MIM and why this particular goal. And then uh, there were questions about what I think the uh, uh, the job would be like, what are my responsibilities. So she basically wanted to assess whether I have an understanding of what it would be like to work in the in this industry and whether I've done my research or not. And there were and the alum and the second year student uh, who was from my own country. He was asking me questions about uh, the associations that I'm looking forward to join and my other interests and more about co-curriculum. And uh, he was trying to assess whether I could adjust here and whether I'm like enthusiastic enough to contribute to the college as well. So there were a mix of all technical, personal, and like other questions. OK, so that's a, that's a mix. And in terms of financing, because of course it's an issue, uh, how did you finance this program and what are the opportunities offered by uh, by ESSEC? And maybe you tell us uh, about the apprenticeship program, because that's a question for which people have an issue. So go ahead. Uh, so for scholarships, ESSEC do provide uh, two, three scholarships, but they're only open for the round one students. So if you want a scholarship, 
Um, you have to apply in round one, that is in the October, November um, stage. And uh, they do not cater to scholarship letters later on because I applied in round four, which is very, very late. Uh, there were no scholarships available at that time, even though like if you have a good background and if you have the credentials to apply for a scholarship, I don't think they are in a position to provide you. So best to apply very early if you have scholarship, if you want a scholarship. Um, there is um, academic scholarships um, and leadership and diversity scholarships all these in round one uh, apart from these uh, there aren't many options to um, get scholarships from uh, ESSEC because uh, they're very very particular and strict about who to choose and whether the candidate deserves it or not um, then uh, they do not I mean they have other um, they collaborate with certain other um, non-banking financial institutions to like get loans so um i don't exactly remember the name of the uh, agency but they provide um loans to students at about 12 percent uh, interest rate and this is uh, without collateral so uh, if pe do, people do not have enough assets they can definitely apply for this with this agency uh, in my case, I had enough savings uh, for fund to fund this uh, course and this study. That is why I didn't apply for a loan. But um, I, I was fortunate enough to not take a loan. But yes, uh, scholarship, loan, and then you saving. These are the three options. And the fourth option is once you get admitted to ESSEC, uh, and if you apply for an apprenticeship and you get an apprenticeship, the company that you're working in will pay the entire tuition fee uh, of your college for the term, for the period that you are going to work with them. So if you have a one year contract with them, they're going to pay tuition fee for one year. And if you have a two year contract with them, they're going to pay the entire two year tuition fee. And that is what most of the students here in SM do. OK, so it's uh, it's very good. And can you tell us more about the apprenticeship program? Because uh, ESSEC is the only one to offer that. So can you tell us how it works? Uh, yes. So the earliest that you can apply to an apprenticeship is by January. So our curriculum starts in um, August. Um, and then we have one trimester before January. So October, November, December is the first trimester. Um, in this trimester, we have to start applying for an apprenticeship in January. So the people who can actually apply in January, January are the people who finish their three management courses. So there are uh, core courses or we can say compulsory courses, management courses that you have to complete before the two year period uh, in order uh, to pass or to graduate. So out of those eight, management courses you have to complete three management courses by the end of december trimester one in order to be eligible to apply for an apprenticeship in january so uh if okay. and it, it is completely based on your efforts if you get an apprenticeship or not if you do you can start as early as january and mainly it it starts every year uh, during the january period or after the summer break uh, which is in august OK. And will you do it? Uh, yes, uh, I would do it. But I'm thinking of uh, starting it from next year after the summers, because I come from a non-business background and I already have my refreshers. So refreshers are basic courses that I have to complete in order to take on more complex management or finance or uh, other uh, tougher courses. So these are like basic accounts, economics, finance, marketing, uh, Excel sheet, etc. So because I haven't studied these subjects, I have to like finish my refresher courses first and then do other courses. So currently, I'm not in a position okay. to complete my three management course. So I will apply after the summer break. Okay. And, and tell me, uh, uh, and tell me, and and your plan is. Uh, is to is to study uh, is to stay in France. But what are your plans? Oh, definitely. My plan is to study and work in France at least for the initial years. 
because uh, why? firstly and why? Uh, firstly my course uh, the mim program is a uh, very widely known in europe and yeah. especially uh, esec is very famous in france so it would be better to utilize this uh, the brand that esec has and the uh, this opportunity to work in france because it's easier for me to get uh, a job in france after this uh, after this degree right after graduation uh, and second because if i am uh, if i get like b2 level or c1 level of um, french uh, proficiency here it's easier for me to study and work here so i think uh, right after graduation it's better to work in france rather than going somewhere else because it's more recognized here okay um yes it's true of course the sec is more recognized uh there and you know that you have a five-year uh visa uh, to stay and work in france yes. so tell me uh so what are the piece of advice uh, uh to someone to an indian person who like to study at essec or in france um my first step would be to completely understand your uh, profile first because there's no point applying to 10 to 15 colleges if you don't properly evaluate your profile so understand your strengths and weaknesses understand uh, what has been written in your cv what is there to offer from your side and then personalize your uh, applications according to the school um, so for example hsc paris is the number one ranked college for mem but i didn't apply there because uh, it didn't match with what i want to do in the future and there were certain uh, factors that i felt was lacking in my profile so choose very wisely the colleges that you want to apply to and do not go by ranks and uh, also, uh, be very, very strict about your uh, preparation for your management exam, that is GRE or GMAT, because it can make or break your uh, uh, prospect of joining any college. OK, very good. Uh, 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 so what are your plans for, for, t for this weekend and this week? Uh, have you visited Paris? Yes, several times. Uh, I am actually, this. it's a Saturday, so I'm planning a trip with my friends to go to a very old Jewish community and we are going to thrift shop and then visit a few monuments. Okay. So it's a, it's a very good thing. So thank you very much, Nupu. Uh, you know, I live very close to ESSEC. I would come to visit all my Indian students there, okay? Uh, I know that yeah. you, are, you are you're numerous and huh? there there's a plethora of Indian students at ESSEC. I think there's a woman called Anugret Chus huh? who is uh, very, very uh, hardworking and tries to, to find the best. And of course, if you need anything, uh, Nupur, don't hesitate. So now your level is A1. So can, can you try to, to say a few words in French? Can you introduce yourself in French, uh, Nupur? Maybe? Hello? Uh Sure, sure. Uh, yeah. Je suis uh, Nupur Padhi. Uh, J'ai 26 ans. Uh, je viens de Anne. Mm. Uh, in uh, j'adore Paris. Okay. But, by the way, with the level that you have, you can go in the metro, ask for your way, uh, order food. Huh? You already have the level. You already have the survival uh, French level. And Nupur. Yes, huh? sir. You agree? I wish I could speak uh, Hindi, uh, the, the way you speak, uh, and let's uh, even say a word. Okay, so thank you very much, Nupur, and I will see you at ESSEC. I will organize probably a lunch or a dinner in October. Huh? Thank Have a you good so day. Much. Have a thank good day. So thank you for being with us, thank and uh, I'm, I'm so happy I'm so happy that you work out for you because you are, you got a deck, which is, of course, a good school, but ESSEC is even better, and I'm sure that you'll have a very bright future with your ESSEC degree. I'm sure it will work well. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Dupu. Have a good Thank day. You. Thank you. Bye-bye.